Thank you. Oh, thank you, Steve. Uh, thank you, everybody in this net who joined this special webinar in honor of the 101st birthday of late General Park Sun Yeop, who is the real hero and patriot. General Brooks, thank you for your leadership as the uh, chairman and president of KDVA. I'd appreciate the KDVA's leading role to make this meaningful webinar happen. Ms. Nami Park, the oldest son, uh, oldest, excuse me, oldest daughter of General Park, uh, welcome. Uh, you would have different feeling as you commemorate your father's 101st birthday. This will remind you much of your daddy. General Kim Je Chang, uh, Mr. Joseph McChristian, Mr. Yu Guang Zhong, welcome. And thank you very much to join this webinar as the speaker uh, to remember General Park Sun Yeop. I'd also express my sincere appreciation to the audiences. I believe you commemorate General Park Sun Yeop's birthday as you are the real patriots who support the Iraq and US alliance. Ladies and gentlemen, I also have very special feeling as I have some personal linkage in my military career with General Park Sun Yeop, although I served in the military very long time after he retired. We know that General Park was the commander of the first Rock Infantry Division during Korean War when he fought at Dabudong and entered, entered Pyongyang as the first unit. I also have the honor uh, to have commanded Rock First ID as the 39th commander in 2004. General, General Peck was the second corps commander when it was reactivated during Korean War. I was the 41st commander of the second corps. When Froka, first Rock Army, was activated in 1954, uh, General Peck was the first commander of the unit as the first Korean four-star general. After 55 years from that point, uh, I was the uh, 35th Froka commander too. General Peck was the fourth chairman of Rock Joint Chiefs of Staff, and I was the uh, 37th chairman of JCS. It is my honor that I shared four commander's positions uh, with General Peck. In every unit, I could find out that the officers and soldiers of the unit thought it honorable to serve in the unit which General Peck commanded. Everybody in this webinar may have different reasons to respect General Peck. I also have many reasons to respect him, however, uh, let me highlight just two of them. First, he was the real warrior. When he fought during Korean War, the conditions were very unfavorable to him. The weapons of his unit were much inferior to that of the enemy. The soldiers were not trained so well, but he fought and won. In Tabudong battle, Without his sacrificial leadership, the Republic of Korea would have failed to seize the final defense line and the whole peninsula would have been captured by North Korea. Second, he was the uh, outstanding strategist. Before the armistice agreement was signed, he did his best to persuade US President Eisenhower to agree to have Rock and US mutual defense treaty and help Rock augment its military. I believe the Rock and US alliance today is in large part uh, the result of his efforts. Rock and US alliance today is the fundamental base of the security of the Republic of Korea. It also contributes the stability of the region and the peace of the world. I hope today's webinar 
contributes to remind General Peck's patriotism as well as uh, strengthen the alliance. Uh, welcome again, and thank you very much. We go together, Alliance for the Future. Thank you very much, sir.